there friends and family it's Chris again with God Be Outdoors I'm going to head out to Spencer Lake Wildlife Area today we're going to take the crossbow and see if we can't get a little lucky we've got a cold front moving in west wind, high pressure uh, readings had to wait for the rain to stop right now it's kind of foggy out so we're going to uh, stalk our way in along that cornfield and there's an open hollow down in there I'd like to explore a little bit the wind will be blowing right in our face so it's going to it should be a perfect day if there's anything out it should be out right now so I'll get out there I'll get set up and uh, we'll see you out there thanks little foggy conditions this morning might make for an interesting hunt actually don't know that I would complain too much sometimes deep fog helps as long as there's not too many people out and we're not all shooting at each other beautiful country though I love a good foggy morning I think it looks pretty family we're here at the uh, Spencer Lake cornfield we're gonna get down here in the bottom and see if we can't get set up I'll get down there and get somewhere to sit and we'll catch you up here in a minute beautiful day though It's a nice little spot to sit. We're on the ground. The cornfield is just over our back. And we are butted up against a tree. We're right here in this hollow I was telling you about. I don't know if you can see it, but this hollow goes straight down like a giant long hallway. Way far deep. It's nice and foggy. So I'm going to get set up and uh, start making some calls, see if we can get anything. We'll catch you guys back up here in a few. I guess we have some rabbit hunters out here tonight, today. I hear some hound dogs baying off in the distance. They're actually not too far away. I'll have to keep an eye open, make sure that I don't shoot any of them if they come through the brush. So what I say is uh, don't take a shot until you can identify what you're shooting at. Maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe they'll push some does this way. 
Maybe knock a buck out of the bed. They're not my dogs, so legally, I'm not using them for hunting. But, uh, I guess we'll see if they keep coming this way or not. Uh, sun's coming up. Temperature's actually falling slightly. I think we're going to get down to around 30. I think right now it's around 33. Yeah. So, uh, maybe we'll get some, uh, some movement here soon. Got a lot of wildlife making noises, a lot of birds, a lot of squirrels out. Heard some blue jays off in the distance, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. Anyways, we'll uh, catch you guys back up here a little bit. Coming dogs. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. But the dogs found me. He literally came up and sniffed my foot. <laughs> yeah. We got some guys fixing to walk out of the clearing over here. Their dog is cute. see me or not. There's their dogs running around. <laughs> yeah, they're being nice and loud too. They're hunting. All right, I'll catch you back up later. Well, hopefully they're gonna. Those uh, guys with the dogs. Kind of walked off um, almost windward. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe they'll continue on. We still got about another hour or so before we have to head out. I'm uh, probably going to go about a half day today. There's no point in staying after that time. Once we hit around 11 o'clock or noon. There's really not going to be that much activity, and now that it's uh, the day after Christmas, we're probably getting a lot of more people out here. It'll end up being uh, quite the show, I'm sure. All these dogs running around, and I've already heard like four or five gunshots, so I'm assuming that there's probably more to come once the weather warms a little bit. It's going to be climbing this afternoon. So probably the bear, the deer will probably dead, bed down and wait till late tonight before they come out. So I think we'll call it quits around 11 to 12. But uh, now that they're leaving and walking the other way, uh, I guess we're going to try doing some calls and, and sit tight and get quiet again. Maybe get lucky. See you guys in a little bit.
it's 11 o'clock now. We've had about an hour and a half worth of silence since those guys came through with the dogs. Um, but I don't... Hmm. some blue jays going off. Hoping maybe uh, maybe a deer would pop out here. But nothing yet, so we'll probably go ahead and get packed up here in a few minutes and head back to the uh, Jeep. Get ready to head back to the house for the afternoon. It's going to get warmer this afternoon and get up in the 40s and probably going to turn the deer off this afternoon. They'll probably come out and feed tonight. But uh, anyway, we'll see you guys here in just a little bit. I'll show you guys where I've been sitting. Of in these trees, you can see the cornfield back through there. There's this path. And then right out here is this big hollow. It just kind of sweeps right through the center. So, we're going to pack up and head back out through the cornfield, back to the road. I'll catch you guys there in a little bit. They're all going that way. And once you get on the other side of that clearing, it's all private land. So, we'll have to hunt our way back. You guys can see this, but there's nice fresh tracks. So they were here this morning or late last night. All right, see you guys in a bit. This is a, when we come out of the end of the one of the cornfield, uh, you can probably see it, but over there is uh, where one of my, my ladder stand is. And way out there is where we're parked at. Uh, beautiful habitat though. Gorgeous habitat. I'll see you guys at the Jeep. Well, friends, we didn't get to see any uh, deer today. We did get to see a, a bunch of squirrels and 
a bunch of guys hunting squirrels with a bunch of dogs hunting those. But uh, I thought maybe today, since we didn't see any good action, I'm going to show you guys something that I uh, wanted to let everybody know about with my crossbow, the center point. Uh, something if you're ever looking into getting a crossbow, something to consider is whether or not you can unload the crossbow without having to shoot it. This one allows you to. This is what's called a decocking safety. Okay, Only with the arrow in here can I click that to fire. I'll put it back on safe. If I remove the arrow, put it back in the quiver. There. Alright. Put the arrow back in the quiver. You'll notice now you cannot you cannot move this to fire. That's what this little lever on the side is for. If I press this lever forward it'll let me do that put it back on fire and then I can actually take my cord for cocking it and let it down slowly I'll show you how to do that now when I put this on I always put this on hooks down I'm just gonna put one side on full and slowly draw it And then what we're going to do is basically put a foot in the stirrup. We're going to slide that thing forward. Take it off safety. And then slowly squeeze the trigger. And then just slowly let it down. And there you go. Oh. And that's how you decock a crossbow without damaging it. So, I guess we're going to head back to the house. Looks like the other hunters are doing the same. And uh, once again, I appreciate you going with me on my adventure. If you like the video, please hit the like, hit subscribe, share it. And until next time, we'll see you again on God Be Outdoors. Thanks.